I, it doesn't really matter what order I have it in here. Sneaky Cheapy, it'll be whatever side they're facing. Sneaky Cheapy and Rise for our last winner's quarterfinals game. Whoever wins this set is going to be moving on to play this Turbo Nerd over here. <laughs> this is the case in winner's semifinals. So we'll see who moves on. Who is going to make it? You better pay close attention and make sure you have the absolute read on both of these players so you know everything they do before they even do it. I don't think it should. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. All right, Rise is going to be on the left. It's player one. All right. So it looks like we have Terry, King DDD, and Young Link for Rise. Sneaky Cheapy is going to be playing. Well, I need to see that again. Yoshi, Lucario, and Ike. <laughs> I see these hands did go up there to watch this game because whoever wins this is going to go on to play against him. He's going to get the download ahead of time. Get the strats going on here. All right. Looks like we're going to Hollow Bastion. I think I can call up Sebi and Khan. Yeah. So it looks like they're just playing a game there. Um, I might ask them really quickly if I can get a game going. All right, yeah, I can call them up. So let's see here. All right, for the next round of the Smash Ultimate Tournament, we are looking for Sebi and Con193. All right. Meanwhile, while this game is going on, Rise having put a lot of damage on his Sneaky Cheapy, sitting at 121% now and only receiving 45.8% himself, and F Smash is going to take that first stock. That first stock is going to be taken. Oh, trying to get some Young Link combos. Not able to convert off of that, though. Not able to follow up out of it. All right. What is your channel? Acoustic Harmonia. If you want to find it, you can also find it in the Smash Ultimate channel. Uh, right. That's the case. Um, okay. So, yeah. So you guys can play here when they're through with their fun game. Uh, it's Unknown Yoda. Yeah. So you can play one of the next coming up ones here against okay. Mud. Somewhere, usually sitting like right there. Okay, I'll let him know. Um, it, yeah, can probably go here next. All right, let's see here. Is the rise still with three stocks. Sneaky Cheapy oh, still hanging on there, and Lucario with Aura is pretty scary. So this could absolutely turn around at a moment's notice here. The Lucario is kind of the comeback king, as many Smash Ultimate players know. That Aura gets extremely scary. Oh, but it's not going to matter because Rai's able to take off that second stock. Sneaky Cheapy now down to Ike. Rai's still as young Link here. Setting up the projectiles and getting the grab. Getting some combos out here. Oh, dash attack. Not able to take off Rai's first stock yet. Rai's recovering. And punishing that counter with a down tilt. Yeah, Boomerang and other projectiles just kind of seems to shut down Ike's side B. Struggling to get past that. All right, up smash. Up smash, not quite able to take it yet. Oh, the boomerang interrupting Sneaky Cheapy. Another F smash to close out another stock. Rise taking game one. That seems. All right, yeah. Cousin's kid, technically, yes. <laughs> Indeedly do. Whoa, and there's my second camera bugging out. But it'll hopefully come back in a sec. I mean, no, nah, that's that's what it's supposed to look like. That's definitely what the players look like. Trust you, me. All right, if we're taking a hot second here anyway, then I can do this really quickly. Let's see here. Let's... Oh, my God. Let's switch it to this. And then it goes green like crazy. And switch it back. Oh, it's worse. Switch it back. And fourth. No, it's still not great. Deactivate it. Activate it. That is not helping. Oh. It smells like someone has like a super heavy cologne or perfume or something like that going on around here. All right. Let's see here. Game two. It looks like we have a different order here. But same characters. Unless I'm dumb and not paying attention. 
But I'm pretty sure that's same characters. Oh, maybe it is in a different order. Maybe a slightly different order. But I'm fairly certain this is the character that both players led with. I know that this is the character that Rise right, guys, had throughout the whole MG game before. Alright. The the Things are going on at the retro station, it sounds like. It sounds like here. Alright. <laughs> so should be getting some sneaky damage onto Rise, as is in his name. It's sitting at 93% already. Yeah, if Rise can secure some more of these F smashes. It might well be points for Yoshi, despite having the home field advantage. We'll see here. Oh, but Sneaky Cheap, he's starting to accrue some damage back. Starting to maybe get some footing here. That was a very odd interaction, I must say. That was a very strange one. Okay. Boomerang into... Yeah. After this, if if you advance, I can always wait a while before your game if you need a little bit of time. Okay. About how long do you think a round of the that tournament might take? Because I'm not familiar with the game. <laughs> Fairly long. Okay. Sixty to ninety minutes. Sixty to ninety minute games. Oh geez, I had no idea. All right. Well. If, if I call someone up and they're not available to make it because of CS or something, if someone will be able to come up here and let me know, and then I can wait for them instead of DQing them, that'd be great. Um, so if it comes down to that, but we shall, uh, we shall see here. I guess I can also say that on the mic. Like if someone's unable to make it because of CS, then let me know. So I might just do. All right, but yeah, now Rise is Terry, as sneaky cheapy as Ike. Rise getting very close to being able to pass go and get those super moves here. Oh, counter just getting it past 100%. Is he going to get some super moves? Oh, getting the Buster Wool and taking Sneaky Cheapy's second stock. Harry also being a little bit of a comeback king, but with the two super moves that are unlocked the moment that he passes go to collect 200. Lucario probably has a decent bit of aura buildup, but with being last stock here. But... I don't know how it works in Squad Strike like that. If it still follows those same rules. Oh, and there's the other camera just gone completely for now. Power dunk. Oh, there we go. The camera's back. Is he going to be able to get another super move? Is he going to go for another super move? He is going to go for another super move. He lands a Buster Wolf. Sneaky Cheapy being sent off. Oh, going for another Buster Wolf, but getting countered that time. At getting a red. It's down to King DDD versus Lucario. Looks like we're having a Pokemon battle right at the end. Everyone's favorite Pokemon, King DDD. After all, trying to get the uh, trying to get the dash attack, not quite getting it. And Lucario builds up Aura. Will it get more and more scary here? So this is absolutely anybody's game here. Not quite getting the down air. Not getting the chance for Gordo to come out. Doesn't seem like. A smash, checking on some damage. Throwing out a couple down tilts, not able to get them though. Ah, it's suddenly it's a very even percents. Yeah, King DD hits hard, but his moves are so slow. Not able to get up air. Yeah, he's really going for a lot of these on stage down airs. Seems like. Oh, Gordo. Lucario at 150%, just one hit on either side will take it. Rise. Oh, I forgot to. I think I forgot to turn up the score before. I believe that's two for Rise. Yeah, I forgot to increment by one four. All right. So if we have a quick look at our bracket here. Wow, if I find the right thing. Here it is. That means that Rise will be moving on to play against these hands. All right. During the winner's semifinals. All right. And it looks like they're going to go right into it. Looks like they're just starting. Okay. That works. Let's go ahead and change it to winner's semifinals. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Reset the score. 